Hello, good afternoon, my name is Les and today's video is going to be about my experiences working for WorkAway. WorkAway isn't just for young people or backpackers or people who are travelling around the world as, as a gap year, it can be for anybody. And my experience of the people that I work for and work away, they prefer the older type of people because older people have more experience and more knowledge and more skills that they can pass on to, to various people and help to repair houses and one thing and another. And my skills that I had, I was an electrician. So therefore I could sort of pick and choose where I wanted to work because everybody wants somebody with a bit of building knowledge. I've built my own houses, I've renovated various houses, so my skills base were quite readily acceptable by anybody. So the two places that I work for in France, I'll show you the first picture. That was a sheet in a place called Trenyac, yeah, right in the south of France. And what I was required to do there was to help to renovate their old house and make it into a further guest rooms at the top of the house. So we did a roof conversion. So because of my building skills and building knowledge, I was probably the most suitably qualified person that was there. So I had to explain to other people what to do and how to go about it. And it took three or four weeks to finish the project. And, but we, we've met various people on there and one of the most interesting people that I met there was a young man who worked for a company in America renovating people's houses and he was a perfectionist he absolutely was a perfectionist he worked in Bill Gates's house and various other people's houses around um, America so he was sort of headhunted and he was given time off to go and travel around the world before he got stuck into going back to university to learn his trade and to be able to manage other people on such expensive projects as working in rich and famous people's houses. So he was an interesting person to talk to. So the second photograph that I'll show you, um, that was another house probably in the centre of France near Condom. Um, this guy had bought the house and he was renovating, it was a big beautiful house. And then he ran out of money, so he couldn't afford to get it fixed. So because I was an electrician, you'll see another picture with all the cables just hanging everywhere. It had been done previously five years before I turned up at this house to, to sort the wiring. So, so he had no idea where wires went, what they were for. So that took me nearly two weeks to sort out. But nearly three weeks to sort the whole house out with the electricity. So after three weeks, everything was working, everything was hunky dory. And as you see in one of the other photographs, two Labrador dogs, that was one of my jobs also to do, uh, was to exercise the dogs on the morning and on the afternoon. So I used to walk around the countryside with these two adorable dogs, taking them for a walk an hour before um, sort of breakfast, and then a, an hour after we had our meals, or, well, before we had our meals or after, whichever I preferred to do. I loved it. It was absolutely brilliant. This guy, he used to be a, one of the top chefs in London. He had chickens and rabbits and things like that. He was sort of self-sustainable. So on one of the other pictures, you'll see uh, two people plucking the chickens. So he was a strong believer that you should see how animals animal welfare and how you you prepare an animal before you eat it and that involves killing it and plucking it and getting ready for the oven now some people wanted to see that and obviously other people didn't but he offered the the chance for somebody to see how things went on in the countryside it really really was good and one of the other jobs that i did was in orvieto italy um, sorry I've got no pictures for that, my hard drive broke and I, all my pictures from travelling around the world I couldn't get out. But that was a lovely job, that was three and a half months living in a, a big beautiful house, just looking after his cat. They went back to Holland for three and a half months and I looked after their big house in sort of two hectares of ornamental gardens up in the mountains in Orvieto or just outside of Orvieto. 
So for three and a half months we lived there. I did some various electrical jobs there, put some lights along the driveway and one thing and another. But uh, the experiences for working for WorkAway are second to none. You meet some very interesting people. It's a fabulous lifestyle. It opens your eyes. It shows you that there's more to the world than an office job, nine till five. Once you've had a taste of this traveling around the world and being able to work and talk and experience different things in life, it gives you a whole different view of life. So I'm 58 now. I retired when I was 50. <coughs> Excuse me. I traveled around the world for two years. Then I did the work away for two years. And then I moved to Thailand and now I live in Thailand and I've lived here for six years. But even though I've lived here for six years, I still did one work away. Um, it was in an island called Koh Kud. Um, you'll see the video, I'm not sorry, you'll see the photograph in a minute of where my accommodation was. It's not a very good accommodation, so consequently I didn't work there for very long. I still stuck it out for two weeks because there was lots of things to do and the guy asked me if I'd like to be there or work there for at least a year. There was that much stuff to do. But accommodation wise, various workaways, some very good. In the first picture I showed you, the Jeet, it was superb. What a beautiful place to live. It really, really was. Um, very comfortable, very relaxing. And the second photograph that I showed you with a, with a farm uh, house, um, that was like a building site, but we had our own caravan that we travel around Europe in, so we, we had our own accommodation there. But they still had a room that was like a dormitory and six people used to share that. And then the last one that, that I've showed you there with a not so very good accommodation, it was a room it was a hundred meters walk to the bathroom or the toilet and yet we were renovating three bedroom detached bungalows that overlook the sea and then he expected people to live like that but this was sort of his first experience of work away and getting people to work for him and after six months he stopped it because he said he could pay Cambodians three or four hundred baht a day to work all day for 12 hours where the work away people only work for four or five hours a day so going on to working what how many hours you work and what you do usually it's four or five hours a day you have the weekends off and um, everybody helps to cook and clean afterwards so it's like a big communal you know it's good it's it's a good way to meet other people and talk about experiences of life and one thing and another, where you go, what you're going to do. This goes the whole around the world. You can work anywhere around the world. My friend, his son, was a bricklayer, times a bricklayer. He did a bit of traveling around Australia, doing bricklaying. And he eventually got a job, and now he lives in Australia. So it can change your whole life doing this work of ways. Um, it's an adventure, but you do have to do a little bit of work. It's not all, it's not all for free. You get your free food and you get your free accommodation, but you still have to give four or five good hours a day of work. There's some lazy people, and I've met some hosts who, who have sacked the people because they've been lazy. They won't get up, they won't mingle with other people, and their work experience is, is nothing and they were very they were useless at doing what they're doing so it works both ways if you pull your weight they'll pull your weight but the jobs I've been offered was another a job which sadly we had to turn down it was like a managing events in a chateau in France and um, Oh, that, that was a good job. That was a really, really good job. But it was for six weeks. We had to guarantee that we could work for them six weeks because they wanted some continuity. We looked at the chateau. Oh, it was beautiful. But the, the, these two were musicians and they travelled around the world. But also they hosted various musical events at their chateau. So basically they were getting an events manager for giving them free food and accommodation. So that was very cheap. If you had to employ an, an events manager to organise everything, I'm sure it would cost a lot more than food and 
and accommodation. But also there are people out there that will try to exploit you. They will try to make you work for seven or eight, nine hours a day and work six days a week. You've just got to pick and choose. You've got to read what the reviews say and read between the lines. Some people are scared to put bad reviews at work away because of fear. If they give them a bad reference, then that's going to stop them from moving anywhere else. So just be honest with yourself. Be honest with the hosts, what you can do and what you can't do. The more skills and qualifications that you've got, that would be easier to get a job. So yeah, start off at the bottom and then work your way up. Like me, as, as an electrician, I was in high demand. I could work anywhere in the world as an electrician because my skills are, are needed. For anybody in the building game, plumbers, joiners, builders, anybody that can renovate houses, absolutely the world's your oyster. So give it a try. So it's not just for backpackers and gap year students. You can do it when you get older. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you've got any questions, or likes, please like it, subscribe, watch my other videos. At the minute I'm living in Thailand, so I call it retired and living the dream, which I am. I have a fabulous lifestyle and anybody else can have that lifestyle once you are retired. So from Les in Thailand, living the dream, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now.